Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hassan. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included here on our frosty rhyme asteroid. Last time we have seen that the gold volcano um, became active, so we get a bit of gold out of that. And we also saw that if we transport the gold to somewhere else, the area heats up. So we tried this uh, here within the base, uh, but today I think we want to focus uh, uh, out here um, where we eventually want to melt a bit of uh, of water um, and the gold that we have in here um, can we see it yeah it's it's cooling down quite rapidly but that should bring the, the temperature up and we have also seen up here there is a cool steam vent which is currently so cold that uh, everything it spits out will eventually turn to uh, to ice so this is potentially another source where we can get water because uh, this sun here will not last forever and uh, we need to think about that then down here we have a salt water geyser um, where we could also get water out of but that would then need to be desalinated uh, in order to be useful for us so I am thinking uh, this one is still quite a time away um, for eruption and Maybe we could think of uh, once we have uh, this wire led uh, that we have like something like a, a power cable going uh, this way and then where we need it we can pull power down um, uh, through a transformer uh, and also have power where we need it but I think we shall uh, do that by uh, not doing the, the heavy wood wire but uh, the more uh, potent one the what was it the heavy wood conductive wire which of course requires uh, refined metal but now that we have a volcano for that we should be good i am just wondering because for all this we would need power and we will not get power out of this setup for another 40 cycles so Maybe we could siphon off a bit of that water uh, and uh, let it let it flow in here. But we want to make sure that uh, we have the highest priority going in here and then the anything basically the uh, the overflow um, we can we can use for our needs so let's pull in the pipe here to 
there. Then I think we shall have that there. There we will have a floor tile so we can then break through there. That should give them something to do. Not that they are really bored because we only have four duplicates because due to the cold temperatures we cannot really uh, grow crops. Uh, you can see here we need a heater at both ends of our farm and that takes quite a bit of, of energy and maybe uh, if we can uh, expand on our uh, uh, ranching setup, maybe um, that will change. So, how are we doing here? Yeah, as we are putting in more gold, the, the temperatures goes up uh, of the gold itself. Um, but of course the interesting thing here is the temperature of the gas, which is now mostly above minus 20 and last time we checked it was, it was below. And also this uh, wire here uh, will be uh, built. We can already go ahead and switch this wire out. For that we need uh, apparently a duplicate with the uh, appropriate skill and that might be something difficult uh, appropriate skill is that one um, okay could do something there Let's see. So it it will take okay. They built the the bridge, which will probably mean we have a problem because then on here on this pipe uh, the little water flows back uh, in here. And that's not something that we want. What we actually want is um, uh, something like this. Right, so I think. Oh, yeah. On, on here. I think we shall have the liquid went down here so that we do not drain too much water from in here but just ensure that we do have water uh, stored here because if the water level rises too high the vent will be clogged up and that should regulate itself think we will let the duplicates do a bit of uh, work and then we shall see what they have achieved this is the last piece of pipe and now we are actually see 
water flowing this way as well, uh, at least as long as there is power supplied that should fill up our uh, uh, supply here a bit. This water is minus two degrees and the water that comes in is 40 degrees. So eventually that should mix and, uh, and even out. And if that actually happens then uh, we can also think about placing some uh, ice blocks in here that would be melted. But as you have seen there, sometimes the duplicates get burned when they are transporting the gold. So I think we should uh, place uh, one or two uh, mat base here so that they can also heal up then in here we have more than five tons of gold sitting at around 250 degrees Celsius and the gas the air the carbon dioxide around it is uh, in the lower minus tens so we see this area is being heated and I also have set up uh, conductive wire here and in the meantime we even have a duplicate who can do the uh, heavy conductive wire uh, so part of it is also done and then I extended this one to over here so we can pull that one down in our, into our base and uh, basically probably most likely replace uh, what we get from here but it all depends a bit on uh, how stable this power production is because here we rely on the gas from here and if that gas runs out then no power so probably uh, uh, we want to have a, a coal based backup system uh, looking at here where do we have the, the coal the coal the coal the coal Ah, there it is, 10 tons. I think we had less at some point. Then I also upgraded some of these. Ari, you will become our uh, uh, artist. And once you level up to that, then you can uh, have a go at this marble block here. And uh, so far it looks, yep, yeah, the water down here is heating up. Um, we probably have to ensure that it is not heating up too much. Because if we uh, add water that's too hot to our farm, then that will also stifle the growth of our crops but then maybe that's just another way of heating things up uh, we can think about that and of course we could also have normal pipe uh, here inside the base um, so using the the water that's ooh that's that's coming from there um, to 
use uh, as a heat source. So as you can see there is still quite a bit going on and I think we can make a bit more progress in this episode uh, in, in general terms. Ooh, yeah, there is a volcano up there and frankly I'm not sure what to do about it because it is of course a nice heat source but we cannot pipe the magma so and as soon as we let the magma flow we are basically heating things up up here and not necessarily down there where we uh, we want it um, we could have a set up uh, to produce power, but usually the, the volcanoes do not have that much uh, uh, liquid or magma output that it is a reliable uh, power source. But yes, so let's see how we can progress here currently uh, wiring here takes some damage because um, we are overloading the wire which would be a good indication that we might replace it with conductive wire so maybe give that a go and then we can see how that one goes now that went fast but uh, of course as um, we had to get in there uh, we also made quite of, uh, a watery mess down here um, and of course most of it uh, is has turned to ice so that's no real use but at least we now should be okay here with the with the power uh, we have powered everything and um, we are good so yeah over here uh, also progress is made and uh, how are we looking here uh, the temperature is still rising and I still don't have a clue what to do with this volcano in the last series I focused on, on taming uh, a volcano uh, also to get out um, uh, ingenious igneous rock that we could feed to our uh, hatches uh, but that's quite the, the setup that you that you need for that so I'm not quite sure if we uh, should attempt something uh, uh, similar in this series uh, where we have our main focus on uh, uh, different targets. So there are still a few building projects that are going on, but I think we can call this episode uh, done for now, and then we will see what the next one will bring. So 
don't forget to subscribe so you uh, don't miss the next one where we will for sure make more progress here on our Rhyme Asteroid. Until then, goodbye!